Hello grade 6, do you want to learn new things today? Okay, I would really love to hear that big yes from you. I am Sir Chris and I will be your science teacher for today. I will help you learn many things and bring you to the amazing world of science. Our last lesson was all about the movement of the earth, which are the rotation and the revolution. So as a review, we will play a game. Do you want to play a game? Okay, so let's play. Science, fact, or bluff. You will be given five seconds for each question. If the statement is true or fact, just show me a smiling face. But if the statement is false or bluff, just show me a sad face. Okay, are you ready? Okay, question number one. The movement of the earth on its axis is called rotation. Okay, the answer is... Fact. Okay. Question number two. The movement of the earth around the sun is called revolution. Okay, the answer is fact. Very good. Next, number three. One complete rotation is equal to one day or 24 hours. Okay, the answer is fact. Number four. Day and night are the results of Earth's revolution. Okay, the answer is... Love. And number five. One complete revolution is equal to 365 and one-fourth day. Okay, the answer is fact. Very good. Our topic for today is based on the most essential learning competencies, which is to compare the planets of the solar system. Before we start with our lesson for today, let us first know what is a solar system and its members. The solar system is a collective name for the sun together with the groups of celestial or heavenly bodies that are held in its gravity and revolve around the sun. What are the members of the solar system? One is the sun. The sun is a star a huge ball of hot burning gases with a temperature of around 15 million degrees Celsius at the center and 5,000 degrees Celsius at the surface. Two, the planets. The planets are classified into two, terrestrial or inner planets and gaseous or Jovian or outer planets. There are four terrestrial planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. And there are also four gaseous or Jovian planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Other members of the solar system are the comets, the meteoroids, the asteroids, and the dwarf planets. So today, we are going to study about the characteristics of the inner planets. Today, we are going to identify the different inner planets or terrestrial planets and describe their characteristics. Okay, are you ready for an exciting space exploration? So what are you waiting for? Set back and relax and let's enjoy 
exploring the solar system. Okay, now let's go to the first planet, which is Mercury. Mercury is the nearest planet to the sun. It is very hot during the day with a temperature of about 426 degrees Celsius and very cold at night at negative 170 degrees Celsius. It has many craters because it has no atmosphere that traps and burns different heavenly bodies like meteoroids and comets that enter the planet. Mercury has no moon. It rotates on its axis for 58 days, 15 hours, and 30 minutes. It rotates very slow because it is tidally locked to the sun. But it revolves around the sun for only 88 days and it is considered as the fastest planet in the solar system to revolve around the sun. The next planet is Venus. Venus is the second planet from the sun. Aside from the sun, Venus is the brightest object in the sky and commonly referred to as the morning and evening star. Venus is also known as the twin planet of the Earth because they are almost similar in size, mass, density, composition, and gravity. Venus is known as the hottest planet because of its very thick atmosphere made up of carbon dioxide. The layer of carbon dioxide traps heat and results to the greenhouse effect, sending temperature of 482 degrees Celsius. The clouds of Venus are mostly sulfuric acid, which gives Venus a yellow-white color. All the rains in Venus are acid rain. The surface of Venus has folds and volcanoes. Venus is the Earth's closest neighbor. It was the first planet to be studied in 1962. Venus has no moon and the gravity is as strong as the Earth. It rotates on its axis for 243 days while it revolves around the Sun for only 225 days. As we can see, Venus' rotation is longer than its revolution and it is the slowest planet in the solar system in terms of rotation. The next planet is the Earth and it is considered as the living planet. The Earth is the third planet from the Sun. It is the only living planet where life exists. The average surface temperature is about 14 degrees Celsius. Earth is rich in liquid water that supports life. It has an atmosphere that supports and protects life. Earth's atmosphere burns most of the meteors before they reach the Earth's surface. The Earth has one large moon. It rotates on its axis for 23 hours. 56 minutes and 4.2 seconds or equivalent to one day and it revolves around the sun for 365 and one fourth days or one year. The last inner planet or terrestrial planet is Mars, which is known as the Red Planet.
Mars is known as Red Planet due to its surface that appears red-yellow because of iron oxide in the soil and dust that covers most of the planet. Mars has a very thin atmosphere composed of mostly carbon dioxide, small amount of oxygen, and nitrogen. Mars has water in its atmosphere, but not enough to condense and form clouds. Day on Mars are almost the same as on Earth. It rotates on its axis for 24 hours and 37 minutes and revolves around the sun for 687 days. Mount Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in the solar system, is found in Mars. It is about 700 kilometers wide and 23 kilometers tall. Mars has two irregularly shaped moons, the Phobos, which is 25 kilometers, and Deimos, which is 13 kilometers. Mars' average surface temperature is negative 55 degrees Celsius, but the red planet also experiences some variability, with temperature ranging as high as 20 degrees Celsius at the equator during midday to as low as negative 153 degrees Celsius at the poles. Okay, so did you learn something from our space exploration? So, to find out if you learned from today's lesson, I want you to get a piece of paper and answer the following question. Are you ready? So, you will be given 10 seconds for each question. Okay, you are going to identify what is being described in the following sentences. Okay, question number one. Time is up! Question number two. Time is up! Question number three. Number four. Question number five. Okay, so let us check your answer. Okay, here are the answers. Number one is Earth, two, Venus, three, Mars, four, Venus, five, Mercury.